Hi, welcome to SageX3 a tutorial on how to group multiple purchase requests into a purchase order. So today I'm going to discuss uh, the three different methods to group purchase requests into a single PO. So the method one is group using the grouping workbench and then the requirements to consider screen to generate or group the purchase requests uh, and then finally using the buyer plan and we will discuss all three methods. So let me just quickly uh, open the Sage X3 um, image and to demo these three uh, scenarios. Okay. So first, um, I have created a couple of um, purchase requests so I can view them under the Enterprise Planning Workbench. So let me go there, select the All Entry Transaction, and then select the product. It's a raw material product. So I have created um, um, like around eight purchase requests. Um, so these all belongs to site NA023. Okay, and also I created two from NA021. Okay, all right, so let's first uh, look at the, um, uh, the method one, which is using the grouping workbench. So let me open purchasing. And then um, supply and grouping workbench. So purchasing, supply, grouping workbench. Select the ACH buyer entry transaction and they select the site, select the product, and select search. So here you can see all the um, purchase requests that belong to this site. Okay, so, and also you can see their document numbers, the supplier tied to that purchase request, the price. Okay, all right, so I'm going to select only uh, maybe three purchase requests for this um, uh, to take a look at this uh, grouping workbench uh, process. So let's pick uh, the first three lines. So I unselect the rest of the lines and then I can click on the ellipsis or the three dots and then click generate. So you can see in the log that there are like three lines with uh, the um, the whip numbers and then it created one purchase order for NA023-0097. So I close out of the grouping workbench and go back to the enterprise planning workbench. So in Enterprise Planning Workbench, you can see there is a firm supplier order generated. So I can tunnel into the um, purchase order from here. So this is the purchase order and, and the line here. And then if you look at the quantity, you can see, um, you know, it totals up to three lines. And if you want, you can also use the view consume purchase requests. And you can see which purchase requests have been selected for this uh, scenario. Okay, so we, we looked at the grouping workbench, how to group uh, several purchase requests into a single purchase order. So next um, method is using the um, uh, requirements to consider screen. So the requirements to consider 
it's a manual process so you have to go to purchasing and then orders and orders so here you can uh, select the all into transaction and click new and then um, select the supplier tab through to the lines grid and in the lines you can either type in the product reference that is RA0 or W050 or you could also use the um, ellipsis or the um, three dots to select the product supplier selection if you have one so here I do have like uh, three two products with uh, the supplier product reference um, so right now we are using the RAW050, I pick that and then you tab. So you will get a screen for requirements to consider. Here you know you can tab, uh, you can select the start date, end date or you could also just tab out. Um, then you can see uh, the available purchase request under the requirements to consider. So here we could uh, either um, select the quantities that we wanted to use um, to group the purchase requests. So for example, if I want, I can select this out of 998, the quantity around 500, and 500, and 500. So once I pick those three lines, I can click OK and then you can create the purchase order. So you can see this quantity is come, comes up to 1500. And similarly you can use the view consume purchase request screen to view the um, purchase request selected for this um, grouping. Okay, so we did uh, the second part, which is using the requirements to consider. And one thing to note here is the requirements to consider its setup is on the product, um, sorry, the purchase order entry transaction screen. So if you go to setup, purchasing, and then uh, entry transactions orders, here you can see for the all entry transaction, the requirements to consider checkbox so here is checked so that's when we see that screen pop up next um, let's look at the um, third method which is using the buyer plan so buyer plan is located under purchasing and orders buyer plan so we will use the all entry transaction and here we had to click new and select the site and the supplier okay and come in here and then we had to pick the product and it opens up the requirements to consider screen and then um, we select the product um, and then you should see the um, the purchase requests under here okay so we have the um, updated purchase request quantities okay and um, so I'm going to use a um, few of them or maybe I can select all of them so we can just if you want to pick the entire purchase request just tab or click on the quantity selected column to populate the uh, quantities okay and once you selected all the lines so we can click OK so here you can see the two lines being uh, generated so one line you can see it's used for the site NA023 and the other one is for NA021 so because I have um, the purchase request on a different site as well so for a different supplier as well so when you create 
when you selected those lines, you know, it will group uh, them as well. Okay, so let's create this. And you can see one PO number is displayed here. Um, and another PO created for uh, NA009 supplier and NA051 uh, supplier. So we, since the um, NA021 um, purchase request belongs to this supplier, so we could uh, generate a different PO for that supplier. So let's take a look at these two POs. So the PO 99 and 100. So PO 99 for the order side in A023, supplier is in A009, and that's one line. And we can look at the um, consume purchase request. So there are five uh, lines for the purchase requests that are generated in this NA023 side, which belongs to the NA009 supplier. And then the other purchase order, 100, is also generated for the NA023 side with a different supplier. So here, um, we can take a look at the view consume purchase requests. So there are two lines with um, created for the different supplier here. Sorry, the NA051. So, so let me go back to the request. Um, view request. Um, so this is PRQ NA023, 12 and 13. Okay, so this, you can see the request is the receiving site is NA021. Okay. All right, so that's all I just want. I wanted to show you in this um, short video tutorial. I hope uh, this is helpful for you to understand how we can group uh, purchase requests uh, using uh, different methods. And uh, thank you for watching, and um, you have a good day.